Good morning, twos and threes. I hope that you have been all well for the past week. I hope you're enjoying the warmer weather. I know I am. I've been spending time outside with my baby and she is having a great time. So hopefully you are all being safe and washing your hands and taking good care of yourselves and your families. So before we begin our lesson, let's begin with our star breathing. Breathe in. Hmm. Thank you. Today is Monday, April 20th, 2020. The word of the day begins with the letter F. Now, some of you still, when you make the letter F, you make it like a T and an R mixed together. If you have a little tail up here, you didn't make it correctly. The trick is to start here and curve up and down like a hook then cross it like a T and you've made a really nice F. Now we're going to add an L after that. Now when two consonants like that are together, they may blend to make a sound. In this case, F O becomes FL. Now we're going to add an E. E goes F, FLE. Now we're going to add an X, which we don't use a lot of in words, but it is there, FLEX. Now that already is a word in itself. You might hear about people flexing their muscles. Next, we're going to add an I, flex it. Then the letter B, flex it. We're gonna add an L, flexible. And then we're gonna add a silent E at the end. Now, some of you might be wondering, wait, wait, Mrs. Cron, isn't that a magic E? And shouldn't that jump over and make the I say its name? Here's the thing with magic E. It's not a great jumper. Usually the E cannot get over two consonants. So the B and the L are just too far for that E to get over. So it does not become flexible. It becomes our word, which is flexible. Now flexible has a few different meanings. One meaning which you've probably heard is when you are able to stretch your body. So you might under, remember in gym, you do stretches so that you are more flexible. For some of you, I know you love to do the splits, and I'm sure that people have told you you're very flexible. That's one meaning. Another meaning that's very similar is you might have some sort of material like plastic, and you can bend back and forth, and someone might say that it is a flexible material. Also another meaning. Finally, flexible can also be a personality trait. Now, what I mean by that is a person can be flexible in the way that they think and what they do. And I wanted to tell you that I am flexible about something you might have been worried about. Some of you know that we had a few assignments over the Easter break. Now, I did mention to your parents that these were optional, which means that you don't have to do them. Now, I know that some of you wanted to do them, but perhaps haven't had the time yet. You may have had questions. You just may have been too busy to get around to it. That's okay, because I am flexible about these things. I know that our lives are very different now. Sometimes things aren't going the way that they used to. And so we all need to be a little bit flexible, be kind and patient with ourselves, and do the best that we can. Now, I did get one student who completed all the assignments over the break, and I am so pleased with her. I think she did a really great job. In fact, I'll be sharing her fairy tale story in the writing video today. However, if you did not get yours done, that doesn't mean it's a problem. I'm not mad or worried about it, of course. I am flexible. If you can do it at some point, please do share what you've done. It just, it warms my heart to see your work. It really makes me happy to see that you're out there, that you're thinking creatively, that you're coming up with new ideas. Now, in particular, I know that some of you really wanted to be in the contest for decorating my ostrich egg shell. Many of you have seen this in class, it's empty. There's nothing left in there anymore. We ate it many years ago. And uh, I've always thought I should decorate it. And I got only the one student sending in her idea for how to decorate it. And I know that I have lots of artistic students out there that would love to send me their ideas. So it's not too late. As you can see, I haven't painted it yet. 
I will give you more time if you would like to be a part of that. So if you do, draw your design on paper, then someone in your family can either text a picture of it to me or email a picture of it to me, and I'll be able to see it, and then I can make a decision about which design I think is the nicest. So please just remember our word today is flexible. I'm flexible about your work. Let's just do what we can together, and I'm really excited to see what kind of things you come up with. Enjoy the other videos today and have a really great day.